So today, the 5th of May 2022, do we now have the confirmed end of the extremely popular Cinema HD application? Now, I received a message in my chat group this morning, if I just share that now. This was actually posted on another group and shared with me. And as we can see, it says, it is very unfortunate news to bring to the streaming community that Cinema HD is shutting down due to legal reasons. The developer has stopped pushing updates and probably Cinema HD will stop or will stop working completely in a few days. So over the last few days, a couple of things have happened. The official Facebook group for this application has been shut down and also the GitHub repository where the official application was being pulled from has also been taken offline. So in this video today, let me show you exactly what's happened to this application. We'll look at some of the evidences on these different sites and really discuss that is this now really the beginning of the end of these third party applications. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So here we can see a post two days ago talking about the official Facebook group for this application. And I believe that the text you see here was the last thing posted on that page. And it says that thanks to a certain UK broadcaster, who are behind the closure of many of these or pretty much every group in this type of area. Now, it says they are sly indeed. Now, I'm sure you can work out if you change one of these letters exactly who the company behind uh, this takedown is, but essentially they did a takedown request. Our group has now been shut down due to the work in rebuilding a group. Sadly, we will not be creating a new one. As of now, access to the website resources is being turned off and also unlinked disabled. We thank each and every member of this last four years and we hope to see you around elsewhere. And the way you can verify that the group is definitely gone because if, if you do a search on Google, this was actually the official group which was approved by the developer on Facebook. And if you now click on that, you get the message that this content is not available. So this is very similar to what we saw for FileLink when FileLink application went offline. Firstly, the website was taken off. Then also the official Facebook group also showed you a similar message because you can imagine when the authorities come down or when they get the legal pressure, they more or less get forced to hand over the authority of the website. If there's any associated Facebook groups, they are forced to shut that down. Similarly, if there's other official social handles, like maybe on Twitter or other platforms, they'll also have to shut those down as well. But we can see the Facebook group is definitely gone. And also, if you ever looked at the original site, the official site, and the reason why I say that is anybody can just spin up a website and say, this is the official site for Cinema HD. But for the people in the streaming community who've been around for a while, They'll know the original website, which I'm not going to share. And on that website, when you clicked on the link to download the application, it actually took you to this GitHub page, or this is where the file was actually being hosted. And again, we can now see because of this closure, this has now also been removed. So the takedown request would have been for the website, any place holding the official repository for the application. And again, any of those social groups or social handles. Now, what does this actually mean for the rest of the community? Well, before we jump into that, because as you can imagine in this area, one application gets shut down and another five applications appear, but it does seem in recent times, things really are clamping down. And I'm sure you saw this article on Torrent Free that the US court has ordered every ISP in the United States to block access to these illegal streaming sites. So. I mean, to have that kind of authority to block any website that's deemed as illegal across every ISP just shows you, you know, how big or how powerful these big companies are. These massive streaming companies, big organizations who are now obviously feeling that because people are using these third party applications is affecting their bottom line. They're you know losing money. Profits are not where they used to be. And they're now turning to these kind of websites or these kind of applications in the attempt to hopefully shut them down. Now, could we just whiz through this and here we can see some of the ISPs that are going to be impacted with this new court order. But here we can just see that when your website does get taken offline, you know, if it is by certain authorities, they normally replace what you see on the homepage with a warning saying that 
this website has now been taken down due to copyright or due to the website hosting or showing copyright content. Because of that, access to the website has now been terminated and the original content from there is now no longer accessible. And I will leave a link to this article if you guys want to see it. And you can also see some of the judgments and injunctions on these links here. So that's really where we are with that one application. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, it does seem like more and more of these applications are being targeted, especially when they get very popular, because you can imagine for a new application, which doesn't have many users or is not really well known, that's very unlikely to be hit. But when you have a very, very popular application where even a standard user, somebody who's not very technically minded or knows a lot about streaming, when they know about these applications, a bit like what happened to the care application when it became so universally known that if you want to access, you know, uh, free content, you could use the care application with a number of add-ons. And because it became so mainstream and people were actually profiting from it, when you could go to eBay and buy these fully loaded K boxes, when it got to that level, it just literally had to be shut down. And I remember it was removed from the Google Play Store just because it had such a negative reputation. Now with these streaming applications, some of the most popular ones, which I'm not going to name, as you can imagine, as they get more and more popular, more and more people use them. And especially now, if this does stop working in the next few days, lots of people are going to look for alternatives. So maybe some of the other applications which weren't as popular are now going to start getting hundreds and thousands of new users. And one last thing I'll say before we wrap up this video is do be very, very careful downloading something from the internet now because we've seen with some of the other applications that were previously closed down, it only took a couple of days for different clones to come out and some of those clones were not safe. So you thought you're downloading a copy of the original streaming application, but in reality, you're downloading malware or a keylogger or really something that could potentially affect your device. And very quickly, if you do want to check something, just search for virus total on Google and any application you want to download before you install it onto your streaming device. Just drag the application in here. This will do a quick scan and generally you're looking for all of these different antivirus engines to come back as green, which means that the file is safe. If you have a couple of reds, then I personally would not install that onto my device because again, you don't know exactly what you're installing and there could be a key logger or a crypto miner or really any other kind of malware. So do double check that if you are going to install a newer version or a modded version of this application, make sure it's completely safe before you install it onto your streaming device. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know I don't really cover these kind of news stories on my channel, but I know there's also so many users of this application. So I thought it was worth sharing. And please do leave me a comment below and let me know if you do think this is the end of these third party applications. Are these big corporates, these massive streaming giants going to win this game? Or really it's just a case of one application down, five new applications pop up. So do leave me a comment below and let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.